This place is empty. What the hell? Somehow they learned of the great reservoir of energy pulsing beneath their feet. And once they had, the ancients developed the means to harness this bountiful energy and bend it to their will. The fruits of their labors have survived to this very day in the form of certain kinds of materia. Their scripture, too, has endured. We who are born of the planet, with her we speak, her flesh we shape. Unto her promised land shall we one day return. By her loving grace and providence, may we take our place in paradise. Alas, the ancients themselves are long gone. 2,000 years ago, a meteor brought an end to their civilization. <laughs> but before their fiery end, did the ancients find their promised land? Even now, we have only to wonder. Times have changed, and the Shinra Electric Power Company is committed <gasps> to changing and evolving with them. Like the ancients, we have harnessed the power of Mako. <gasps> Are they out there watching us, waiting for us to join them in some blessed corner of the world? A green and verdant land where boundless Mako energy will provide for our every need. Shinra is working for you to fulfill the hope of the ancients and lead us to that promised land. We shall not rest until our dream is realized. Oh dear, a man of my refined tastes running out of butter. <laughs> Short of its proper accompaniment, this tea might as well be boiled pond water. <laughs> huh? <gasps> no, it, it couldn't possibly have been crazy ass thing made me want to puke. And not just because of the presentation, but the content too. Ought to come with a warning. That ain't for kids. That wasn't just a movie. That huge meteor, what was that about? Like I said, nothing you should show a kid. <sighs> Greetings and welcome. Avalanche, I presume. My name is Hart, and it's a pleasure to meet you. I've come to escort you to Mayor Domino, per his request. The Mayor of Midgar? 
The empty suit that's just a mouthpiece for Shinra? The mayor of our dear Midgar. The most magnificent city ever built. That, Mayor Domino. The Visual Entertainment Hall has been experiencing technical difficulties of late, and he suspected that these difficulties might impede your progress. So what does the mayor want with us? I'm afraid you'll have to ask him that yourself. So what? You telling me the mayor's some kind of crazy bookworm? <sighs> Through here. Wonderful. You finally made it. <gasps> I am the mayor of the great metropolis of Mako. Domino, at your service. <laughs> I must say you three haven't exactly been discreet. I wonder who's been cleaning up all your messes. What the hell's going on? Come on, think about it. You've been caught by security several times, walked in front of every other camera, and scared an accountant half to death. You hear the alarm? No? You're welcome. <sighs> hmm. I can only assume your cell wasn't looped in. I am Avalanche's man on the inside. Say what? Huh. Is it really that surprising to you? You've seen where they put me. The mayor of the greatest city in the whole wide world, tucked away in a secret broom closet in the damned archives. The nerve. Those stupid Shinra pricks thought I'd just shut up and accept their treatment. But they were wrong. Dead wrong. Huh. Well, this ought to make things easier. <laughs> we need to break into Professor Hojo's lab. What? Why? You mean you're not here to give President Shinra his comeuppance? We're here to save a friend who was taken. But the president's gonna get his, too, if I have anything to say about it. Mm. <sighs> well, I don't particularly care what you end up doing. So long as it hurts Shinra. Great! So, I can get you as far as the 64th floor. Hold up! You're telling me that that's the best you can do? That is indeed the best that I can do. But you're the mayor. But you're the mayor? Does this look like the office of a mayor? I'm a glorified librarian, nothing more. They don't even invite me to their meetings. Sorting records and reports, that's all I do. My hands and fingers have more paper cuts than skin. No one knows my pain, my daily torment. They've made me a pathetic shell of a man. Uh, uh, okay, they did you wrong like us, but we'll make it right. So just calm down. Deep breaths, man. Deep breaths. Hmm. Let me see that key card of yours. <sighs> Here you are. You can now use it to access the recreational facility on the 63rd floor. And then what are we supposed to do? You look for a fellow Avalanche collaborator. Identify yourselves and he'll give you a key card to the 64th. The countersign is... The mayor is the best! Midgar's mayor is nothing less! Uh. Everyone says he's cooler than the rest! Uh. Uh. Just say mayor to the guy, and if he goes the best with gusto, then you found your man. You got it? So, about this precious promised land of yours. Come now, Aerith. You misunderstand my intentions. I wish only to satisfy their material greed 
so I can be left to pursue my great work. Our great work, my dear. Hmm. You're the spitting image of her now. I regret it to this day. If she had only trusted me instead of trying to run, it could have played out quite differently. What a terrible tragedy to lose the last of the pure-blooded ancients. Though not completely, would you like to see your mother? Albeit through the lens of one of my microscopes. Did you really think we'd leave such a precious specimen to rot in the gutter? We collected and cataloged every last bit of her. Hair, skin, organs, every fragment of every bone. As breathtaking in death as in life. As you, my dear, Ifalna was elegance right down to her cellular structure. <laughs> and there it is, that same elegance. Oh, yes. Time for yet another meeting. Sit tight. I won't be long. <sighs> they look busy. The plate did just fall. What kind of particulars in here? Seeing them like this somehow makes me feel a little bit better. Support is getting overwhelmed by calls. We'll have to resort to AI operators. Let's find our contact. Not seeing any security around. One less thing to worry about. Where are you, Mr. Collaborator? I think we just need to start talking to people who look the part. Remember, say mayor. If they say the best, then we have a winner. The hell's that? Combat sim. You can use it to train for battle in a virtual space. There's training in that thing, really. You work here? I don't recognize you. Can I help you with something? The mayor. Is the best. I was told to expect you. I need access to upper floors, right? Before I trust you with this key card, I need to see what you can actually do. Do you know what would happen if you got caught? We're putting our lives on the line here. Prove you're worth it. We have a state-of-the-art combat simulator. It can provide a real challenge, let me tell you. If you beat the sim, then the key card is all yours.
gloves up. Sure thing, Code. All right, I've seen enough. I'm a man of my word. Here, this key card will grant you access to the 64th floor. You can use the elevator to get there. Once you're up there, just what is it you plan on doing? We came to get one of our friends. She's being held in a research lab somewhere. A lab? Then she must be with Professor Hojo. It won't be easy to get to her. Access to R&D is limited to authorized personnel only. We'll find a way in. Know where we can find Hojo? A board meeting is scheduled to start soon. It's being held in the main conference room. President Shinra, Professor Hojo, and the other directors will be in attendance. Think they like surprises? We can even take the president as a hostage. Think of the leverage. Try it, and security will be on your asses in seconds. We need to find out what they're planning. So you want to spy in their meeting? Hmm. I have an idea. Head to the men's restroom. You can climb into the air ducts there. They go all the way to the conference room. Thanks for the tip. Do you think that's where Professor Hojo is? Where he should be. What's the plan? Little bit of recon. Need to find a way to infiltrate that room. You hear the words coming out of your mouth. We just gotta find that bathroom so we can get into the air duct. Ask anyone here. They can point us in the right direction. No thanks. We can find it on our own. Gotcha. I'm sure they're safe. But we live right by Sector 7, and I keep calling and calling, but I still can't get through. I heard that all the phone lines are down. It doesn't mean anything. You sure? Pretty sure. I'm telling you, I saw him! With my own eyes, sauntering down the corridor! We don't have time for this nonsense! Ah, he was as close to me as you are now. The, the shock of it made me spill my tea! Enough already! If there are intruders in the building, my men will deal with them. But, Mr. President, sir, I swear to you... Reeve. Sir, I have the damage assessment for Sector 7, and I'm afraid the figures are catastrophic. Spare us the doom and gloom. Uh, was there anything else? Uh, well, sir, I've also drafted a that reconstruction plan needed. for... Huh? Not with the Ancient in our custody once more. Uh... With respect, sir, Two I don't see words, how... words, Reeve. <sighs> Neo Midgar. <sighs> In their promised land, we will build a new Mako-powered metropolis. Mr. President, we still don't know for sure that the promised land even... <sighs> Professor Hojo. The test results were within expectations. The specimen is somewhat lacking compared to her pure-blood mother, but for our purposes, she should more than suffice. So she can lead us to the Promised Land? Well, Mr. President, that remains to be seen. I would like your permission to secure her cooperation through more forceful means. Forceful, yet gentle. She is a precious resource that must be handled with care. Personally, I've never had a problem with torture. My armory is at your disposal, should you require anything. I had something more psychological in mind. Better to scar the psyche than mar the flesh. <laughs> Proceed as you see fit. However, you will not make the same mistake twice. Is that clear? If I may, Mr. President, I have an idea how we might mitigate the risks. Simply put, 
we could have the ancient reproduce. In the absence of a second specimen, we would need to identify an alternative mate. I would start with candidates from Soldier. These would, of course, include S and G types. Quite frankly, there's no telling what kind of properties a crossbred specimen might possess. So, what say you all? <sighs> if there is nothing else... Mr. President! Meeting adjourned. <laughs> Please, sir! Something stinks. Walking the halls of this very building, who would have believed it? I wonder... Hmm. Were I to arrange a face-to-face? -face? <laughs> How I should like to meet their offspring. Ah, but that can wait. First, we must have answers. A simple psychoactive agent should suffice. Nothing likely to cause any long-term damage. <laughs> Let's go. Right. <clears throat> Instead, <sighs> don't move. Hmm. I ain't bluffing. What is this? A dozen bullets in your head, unless you open that door right now. You must be the ones who've been stirring up trouble lately. The eco-terrorists? Hmm. If so, I can't imagine what business you have with me. The President's upstairs. Go on, shoot! Shut up. Keep walking. None of y'all better move a muscle. Do stop pushing. Unlike you, I am less accustomed to physical violence. You'll get used to it. What is it that you want? Our friend. She's in your lab. Really? Tell us where Aerith is! Oh, so she's your friend. Well, well, well. In that case... Yes. That might do the trick. Mind speaking up, son? It's nothing. Just imagining how she might react if I were to present to her your fresh corpses. <laughs> I promise, <laughs> you will regret. 